Okay guys, there was some technical difficulties and some really rude interruptions that got in the way of me making my video of today after like a couple of days or maybe a week of not making videos. Um, so today was a very interesting day in regards of a topic that everyone has probably heard of and seen numerous videos and documentaries and studies of sleep paralysis. Whenever I, hear, whenever I hear sleep paralysis, I get kind of excited because it involves psychology and medical research. It's kind of like the dork's corner of uh, science, research, and the freaking brain, which has a whole lot of things going on in it. So, today, I walked into um, a hospital today in regards of uh, sleep paralysis studies because I got really excited and I was talking to some doctors and researchers in Massachusetts about, oh my gosh, about sleep paralysis and I did experience it as the as to the reason why I'm making this video and sharing it with like gazillions of people who are probably gonna look at it or probably not. Um, so sleep paralysis, oh my goodness. I got really excited as if I was a doctor getting ready to do some research on a client or a patient who claims they were somehow attacked in the process of sleep paralysis. Well, I would really like to explain all of the things that happens in the brain, but it would take about 12 videos to explain it. And I know you guys don't want to sit here listening to me talking about sleep paralysis, so let me just make it quick and snappy, okay? So when you go to sleep, you go through stages of sleep, like the rapid eye movement known as REM sleep, and your brain is kind of like a scanner, it like scans through numerous photos, like pictures, images, and moments, and sounds, all kinds of things that happen in your brain as you're sleeping. And so, there's this part of your brain next to the pituitary gland, I guess it is? It's Yes, it's somewhere between the left and right cerebellum and close to the back of the stem. I forget the name of that gland, but it's a gland. It's the fear gland. I'm going to call it the fear gland, the emotions gland. That gland goes crazy in your head. And so now you begin to feel like you feel like something really horrible is going to happen to you because you are paralyzed in your sleep, in the process of REM sleep. Um, so then you are completely not able to move in your sleep. So you freak out and all kinds of things happen. And you begin to have illusions and you see or hear things that are out of the ordinary. And that's when um, science and parapsychology cross paths. Is that stuff real or is it really the brain acting up in the process of getting stuck between sleep stages and which is known as sleep paralysis? Um, that question is being worked on at Mass General Hospitals and numerous other hospitals in Massachusetts and all over the world so I don't have an answer if I did have an answer I would tell you but I don't so I don't have the answer I'm not a doctor I did want to be a doctor but a lot of challenges came up for me and some new discoveries as to why I can't be a doctor but the closest I can become the closest I can come to being a doctor is a therapist a counselor, a psychologist. That's as close as I can get. But for other reasons, I can't be a doctor. I have all the academic equipment. I'm totally equipped for it, but I just can't be a doctor. So anyways, enough about me and the reason why I can't be a doctor. 
Does anybody else have any new discoveries with sleep paralysis? A cricket. Anyways. <laughs> um, no, well, anyways. Sleep paralysis is a very interesting topic. I got really excited with the doctors sitting at a, sitting around talking about sleep paralysis and what happens in the brain due to the exposure of numerous psychology classes and things like that I feel like I can tell everybody what sleep paralysis is all about and I'm sure other people can do the same thing too but I'm more interested in whether sleep the science cross path with parapsychology because everyone is talking about encountering some kind of deity in the process of sleep paralysis and I and we all know that those things don't exist so I'm assuming it's the science and it feels so real but it's not it's definitely not we all need to put that in our minds that sleep paralysis has these crazy illusions that are not real and I feel like I'm going on forever let me see. Oh, no, not really. So anyways, sleep paralysis and Massachusetts interesting studies of sleep paralysis and all this craziness. And I guess I want someone to tell me how many times I said sleep paralysis. Write down the number of times I said it because I feel like I've been saying it forever and ever and ever and ever. Um, yeah. Until then. Don't let the sleep paralysis bug bite bugs bite you. <laughs>